Welcome to another session of TLG Present. I'm Neville Locke, and I'll be your guide on today's excursion. And today we're going to track down and observe the fiercest, biggest land monster in all the ancient forests, the Salmon Bellied Anginath. I know, crazy, right? I said it once and I'll say it again, there's nothing scarier than ignorance. And today we're going to uncover the mysterious habits of this magnificent beast. Oh look, a family of Kestodon are having a bath while they graze on the vita plants that grow in these quiet waters. Let's go have a look, shall we? What kind, gentle creatures. Life in the ancient forest can be unforgiving to herbivores such as these and they know it. The way they group up is common. Even a great jagger thinks twice about encountering a herd with several bulls. Fantastic. Let's move on and leave this family to graze while there's still peace to be had. Come on. Lately, there have been reports of the beast being spotted in the northern reaches of the forest. We know it can exist in the upper boughs of the enormous trees that make up much of the forest, so our search will focus on the lower and middle layers of the forest's interior. Let's push on. Oh, yes. Right on time. Wiggly Litchy. Oh, this little grub is chock full of protein. Meow. Hearty, slimy, and while great for your stamina, it tastes like shit. Oh, we've just come across what appears to be Engineeth prints on the ground. These tracks don't look very old. Hmm. Let's push on. The boys back at HQ are going to appreciate this find. Every moment we move closer and closer to an understanding of these creatures. I'm picking up a trail of a pack of small creatures. Must be Jager pups darting about. From the look of the tracks they seem to be agitated for some reason. Now I see why. Holy mother, there she is just past the trees. Great guardians, I think she spotted me. I'm gonna throw on me gilly cover. We don't want to go getting ourselves eaten before we find out more about this majestic creature. This bush will be a nice place to lay low until she loses interest. right there. Oh. oh, she's gone now. Let's continue to follow her trail. I'm going to keep back. I'm going to keep back, keep back numerous places. What? What? A, is she sneezing? This explains a lot. Oh my god. The engineer's hyper-aggressive behavior as of late can only be the result of his sickness. It must be wrecking havoc on our well-being. I'll take some samples and bring them back to the researchers in Astera. Let's press on. There's so much more to learn. What's this? Another specimen looks like some more mucus. Oh my god. That color is absolutely unhealthy. Let's get this back to the base so the boys in research can give us more more information on what's going on with this creature. As difficult as it may be for most of us to understand, they play a vital role in the life cycle of the forest. Some of these creatures, if they go unchecked, they can wreak major damage on the ecosystem 
in this legendary ancient forest. <laughs> we're lost sight of her. We're gonna keep searching. We're gonna take a look down here. And maybe round uh, to the first camp. Let's get on the way back here. All right. It's hardly possible she's going out here to to get a drink of water with as much mucus as she's spitting up. She can't. She's got to be dehydrating. I can't imagine how she's going to keep her strength up without consistently eating and consistently drinking. I don't see her yet, but there's no doubt this is why we've seen a pickup in of increase of uh, footprints in the general area of this pond. Let's see what we can find. There she is. All right. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna fall back as much as possible, but we almost lost her, and it's been widely known that this creature will disappear as if in out of just just vanish, as if some kind of mysterious magical trick. And I am come today to find out and get to the bottom of that sudden disappearance. But I'm learning so much more. Oh my goodness! I never thought I would be able to get so close to the creature. Oh my. Look, this may be one of the first times this has been caught on camera. She's sunning herself? Once a lizard, always a lizard. <laughs> cool. Look at those twin dorsal extensions. Oh my god. The membranes are underdeveloped. One can see the leftovers of the great dragon era in her. Wow. Let's not go getting too overzealous. Oh, she's moving again. Let's so get, get out of our path here. Oh my goodness, look at that specimen. Fantastic. Oh my, what a beautiful girl. Look at that jawline. I'll bet she can rip apart a great Jagger in seconds. I've seen many of the decimated corpses of them, but we never actually seen them feed. Oh my god. Yep, just as I suspected. She seems to have an unquenchable thirst. She must have some kind of fever. I need to seriously get a blood sample, but I'm going to have to let the hunters do that. This is clearly a survey run. Oh my. She's on the move again. There's, you can clearly see that there's something wrong with the nasals. Let's pull back. I think she's stirring. Yes, here she comes. We're going to reposition and get out of this exposed area. Let's lay low here. We managed to get away from her without alerting her to our presence. That bitter bug sputum is doing its job at masking my scent. Almost lost sight of her, but she's making her way over a couple of the columns that is leading to the north of the forest. Man, she can really give a leap. Anybody who think they'd be safe in the high ground is clearly fooled. This creature is so agile, apex predator. All right, let's continue. She's heading back into the interior. My map shows correctly. 
Oh my god. Goddess, keep us safe. Dude, make sure I stay far enough back. This creature's clearly come here to feed. I believe this is a den of some of these smaller Jagger pups. No, wait, what? What's this? That's a Castodon. What in the... What are they doing? She's rubbing its back. What in... What is going on here? What in the... What is that Castodon doing to her down there? This forest is super bizarre and very mysterious. Let's let's pull back. We don't want to get get it on, get it on our scent again. I, for one, look forward to coming back home and re and telling the tale of what I've discovered here. This is going to do so much for the research. Let's go ahead and hide here. She's passing by. Let's continue to lay low. I'm gonna start. Just keep up the pace with the tracking here. Oh, she's pushed her way into the cave. Where is she going? I know she's been feeding herself, but you can, she is clearly very fatigued. Alright, we're gonna dare to move in closer. Come on with me. One of the first times ever captured on film. This great creature is having a rest. Oh, starting to twitch there. What a magnificent find. This creature is unprecedented. I'm gonna throw on the gilly cover. I'm gonna get as close as we can. Oh my god, this is so dangerous. This is going to help our research back at the base immensely, people. Everything we do here is for science and for the survival of our people. The hunters are going to be able to live longer. The medicines we gather from all this information is going to help our citizens live well also. Let's see if we can get a few more shots. Who would ever think it? This thing could just be in such a dull cell, resting state. Apex Predator. It was once believed that all they did was the 24 hours move non-stop, kind of similar to the dino shark of the deep oceans. Non-stop movement. But we can see here that just like a baby, this creature sleeps easy. Oh, she's back up. Oh, goddess. We really gotta stop cutting these things so close. I'm gonna give it a pace or two. Alright, let's get back in. Man, she was so peaceful back there. As if she had no care in the world, I'm big, I'm bad, and I'm the mother of all that terrorizes you. Man, I think I shit my heart out my arsehole back there. That was so close. She's on the move. I can't help but notice during the course of this that she's been sleeping, resting an awful lot. Seems like it's nearly impossible to get these things on film. Yet here we are. This gotta be clearly the sickness that's just taken hold of a system. Looks like she's going back to her sunspot. Yeah, there's there's something wrong here. I mean, as much as we fear these creatures, we do need them. We're gonna have to come up with some kind of vaccine. Some hunter's going to have to come and get a blood sample, maybe capture one alive. I'll leave that to the people uh, in that more specialized profession. Me, I'm a simple researcher, investigator. I can't uh, take one of these beasts down if I try. It is enough just to be this close to them. 
and you think I'm the one with the nerves of steel, but you should really take take a look at these hunters. These hunters do amazing things. Though I must admit I'm at times at odds with their decision to eradicate some of these beasts, but I have to believe in the state and I have to believe in uh, overall goal of survival and sometimes you gotta break a few eggs. Alright, she's back up. I'm trying to keep just out of sight here. At any moment though, we can lose it. This thing has been known to disappear in pure daylight when it has been spotted as rare as that it's been. We just don't know how it gets away so fast. I'm gonna stick stick with it though. Stay on pace. How this creature has gone undetected for so long, I'll never know. Oh my goodness, that's a poop. Look at this. Let's get our hand in there. Oh yeah, that is clearly unhealthy. The dung on that was just too loose. That stool, is, that is the mark of a sick creature. We've got to do something for her. Oh, just out of sight here. She's moving. She's picking up the pace. Sun's going down. Whoa. This is right around the time. Oh, my. Is she burrowing? My goddess, that explains it. We were wondering where the engine in this region disappeared to. And there we have our answer. This is Neville Locke for TLG Presents. Till next time, you guys, hunt well and game it good.